you're in for the ride of your life. I've always had a soft spot for old machinery. Whether it's a Saab or an old computer, something about this stuff just fascinates me. But sadly, things move fast in the tech industry, and machines like this are obsolete now and completely useless. And that's why Greenham Gaming will from now on only make videos about new things, like the PS4. Oh, who am I kidding? Let's celebrate the obsolete. Let's shove a new GPU in an old computer, yet again. This is Lumbridge. It's the first PC I ever got my hands into. In the last year of high school, I bought it from a friend's dad for 50 bucks as a project to distract me from the pain of me and my ex-girlfriend's breakup. I needed something else to think about, and Lumbridge was just that. I researched hard drives for a week and bought it a brand new Western Digital Caviar Blue. I wanted to play Left 4 Dead on it, so I drove across the city and got it one of the finest Radeon 5770s I could find. And when I switched it all on and got it working, it was one of the proudest moments of my life. But Lumbridge has taught me so much more than that. It taught me that all hardware has value. It taught me that our faults are what make us unique and it definitely taught me to look on the bright side for once. Rather than criticizing the Pinium D for being inefficient, compliment it for its ability to double as a room heater. So tonight, we're gonna have a bottleneck fest. I'm gonna show you what a Pinium D can do and what it can't, so you know what to do. There are plenty of things a Penny MD can handle. iTunes, high definition video, adult film, SimCity 2000, and of course, RuneScape. But what you all likely want to know is how it handles PC games. So in tonight's green marks, we're throwing in a combination of games. Some that the Penny MD will love, others, <laughs> others it won't. So let's jump in. So, basically, a Penny MD machine offers Xbox 360 performance no matter what graphics card is inside. But, if that's fine by you, these machines are dirt cheap and very dependable. And they also make great room heaters. Whether the box at your feet has an almost 10 year old Pentium, or the latest Skylake i7, you're still a member of the master race. So let's stop arguing about parts and raise our mugs to PC gaming. No matter what hardware is at our feet. Thanks again for watching and good night.